What up, it's your boy Roy Jones Jr. Right now you're checking out Linear Boxing TV with Birdie. Don't miss it, the man is fantastic. He even tell you about, I mean look, he got the best looking guy ever box, the best fighter power power ever, right here. How much better can you get? Huh? I love this, just a quick video on my two favorite rounds, just detailing Evander Holyfield's heart. There's so many rounds you could pick up on, but these are my two favorites. Evander Holyfield here fighting Burt Cooper, smoking Burt Cooper, classed as a gatekeeper, a very good fighter, fought some great, great names, but wasn't expected to do much. But hit Evander Holyfield in the third round here and rocked him completely. Um, a lot of people could have stopped it right there. Any boxer will tell you that shot there behind the ear will just scramble your senses. And he is completely out on his feet. Mills Lane takes a big look, look at him here. And listen, you could get stopped there quite easily. But just how Evander Holyfield gets through this is just, for me, it's beautiful. It's it's like poetry. Um, taking shot after shot after shot, trying to hold on. But his powers of recovery are just unbelievable. And you cannot teach this to anyone. And any job. He's done it. He's done. But I love this bit here. He's taking this barrage of shots. And then as soon as he holds on, he's just recovered just like that. And he gets his senses back. And as quickly as that, he's back in the game. Hits him with this big shot. And then just like that, the tables are turned. And I remember watching this and I was thinking, oh my God. Bert Cooper for George Foreman, Riddick Bowe, Michael Moore, Chris Bird. Ray Mercer fought everyone, and he was no joke. And when he hit people, they used to stay hit, but how Evander Holyfield took those shots and then comes back like this, I remember watching this screaming at the sofa, and I fell in love with him after this, not literally, but just this heart you can't teach, and I just love this about boxing, just going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Evander Holyfield won this fight in the seventh, I think it was, um, but what a fantastic round. But then the one that topped it was this fight here against Riddick Big Daddy Bo. This guy was another level undefeated, powerful, strong. And at the start of the 10th round in Las Vegas, Can't understand someone being so dirty. this shot takes your head off. And Evander Holyfield was done here. This round and Bo stuns him with an uppercut. And just like that, the champion struggles to stay on his feet. What a heart by Holyfield. Gets away from a right hand, blocks another one. Bo throwing and throwing. Now goes to the body. Holyfield somehow standing up, but staying too Reed. close Ruffle to Bo. Joe Cortez watching. Champion gets the benefit of the doubt. Even Emmanuel Stewart here saying, referee, referee. A few moments later. But then this happens. This is just unbelievable. Evander Holyfield was losing this fight, but to still have the will to win. You just can't teach this in any gym in the world. And I used to love this bit. When he used to get his sort of senses back, he used to do this little jump up on his toes, bounce up and down. A right hand by Holyfield! And another! Just, this is absolutely amazing. What I love more than anything about all of this is this little bit here. This sort of mutual tap on each other's stomachs and it's that little nod of admiration and respect. Complete and utter respect. Evander Holyfield is an absolute warrior.